everyone, I'm Angie Patterson and this is my YouTube channel, if you don't know already, now you know. A while ago I posted a two-part video called How to Get an Agent Slash Manager and this video is really a piggyback to those two videos, or I guess you could call it part three. And I'm making this video because I really want to clarify the how to get a manager part. Because I get lots and lots and lots of questions specifically on how to do that. Because finding a manager versus an agent is really more your first step um, in your acting career as far as representation. And I have to take this opportunity to say that I get quite a few messages um, either asking me to help a specific person, like they want me to help them find a manager or a manager or they want me to be their manager. Now, I love you guys, but that is not my job. I am an actor um, and, you know, I, I definitely can't be like trying to help people find managers and stuff. Hey, we're all out here like trying to make it on our own. You know what I mean? Like, but hopefully this video helps you. So here we go. Let's get started with this. I went back and watched um, both of those videos, the how to find an agent slash, slash, slash manager videos. And in the first one, right around the seven minute and 14 second mark, I start talking about how to find a manager. The first method I talked about is kind of checking in with your friends, uh, your actor friends and your acting classmates about who their managers are. Are they happy with them? Would they mind referring you to them and sending your materials to that manager to see if they want to meet with you? Um, that's kind of how we do it. Like in my acting classes, like, you know, if there's someone who you know is really happy with their representation and you're not happy or you don't have representation, if, you know, you have a nice open um, line of communication with that person and it wouldn't be weird for whatever reason, like go ahead and ask them that. Worst thing they're gonna say is no, I don't feel comfortable. And right after that, I talk about this other method that I like to use when I'm looking for representation and that is using IMDB. Now I will post both of those videos down in the uh, description notes box down below so that you can access those easily if you wanna watch those first and then watch this one. And here is where I wanna make that IMDB process method of looking for reps super, super crystal clear so that you know, it's easy for you guys to, to try. So you go to imdb.com. imdb.com is a website that has all the information you could dream of, of every TV show and movie going back who knows when. Like you can look up Gone with the Wind and see who all the actors were, who directed it, who wrote it, who the key grip was, who the lighting person was, who the DP was. Like you can see everything about it. You can see trivia about it. You, it has like a plethora of information. IMDB.com is free to access. There's a lot of info that you can look up completely for free. But a lot of other information, like the contact information I'm about to talk to you about, is limited unless you sign up for an IMDB Pro subscription. IMDB Pro costs um, $19.99 per month or $149.99 for the whole year. So to use this method to find reps, you are going to have to purchase a membership no, this is not a paid promotion at all. I will not receive anything if you sign up. So step one, you go to imdbpro.com or imdb.com and get a membership, whatever it is you gotta do. And you think of a show that either you love that's currently airing or that you think you should be on that's currently airing. Like if you um, uh, are a guy who is really good with like detective roles or that's something you really wanna do or you think that's your, your strong suit, then um, you know check out NCIS and other kind of, um, uh, oh my God, what are they called? Procedural, procedural shows like that. If your strong suit is comedy and you uh, think that that's the direction you're gonna definitely be going, you know, check out some current comedy shows. So you go to a show, you click on a recent episode. Now, if the show is currently airing, like either shooting right now or airing right now, you wanna go back about one season because the most recent episodes that are up don't always have all the information in them yet. So maybe go back like at least you know, at least five or six episodes or maybe to a previous season. So once you get to the uh, episode page, you're going to click on see full cast and crew. And that is going to take you to all the information you need for that episode as far as like cast and all that. At the top of the cast is gonna be like the series regulars of the show. And you scroll down, 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 um, kind of like to, to the middle bottom, like the second half of actors in the show. Click on one of those actors. Um, 
and see who their reps are. These are going to be the co-stars and the guest stars in the show. The guest stars are the ones who have a little more to do in that episode. Uh, you know, they're a little more featured and the co-stars are like maybe uh, one to five lines. These are the actors you're gonna focus on for finding their rep. The series regs are gonna be with really big agents and managers. And if you're just starting out, I mean, hey, shoot for the stars by all means. But realistically, you're gonna wanna look at uh, the reps of those co-stars and guest stars. So all these actors are there on the page. You can see their names and faces. You click on their name and that is gonna take you to their IMDb page. And on their IMDb Pro page, it's gonna have their representation contact info on the left-hand side. And that is where you can find out who their manager is and submit to that manager, whether that's it. Uh, they might have their email listed or their phone number listed. Um, you can just call up the office and say, hi, I'd like to submit myself for representation. Try it. You know, some are going to be more responsive than others. Uh, I will tell you that. And I'm sorry, guys, I wish I really could give you just like a, here's what you do. Here's how you set up a meeting. It's ABC. It's just like that, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, every manager and every agent in this business is so different. And sometimes it's like, this is the hard part. You know what I mean? Like getting off the ground, getting in the door when you have nothing to show for it yet, it's hard. And that's why I've always kind of hammered it, hammered the point home of be making your own material so that at least when you submit to these managers, you have, a, you can send a link and be like, here's um, a YouTube link to a short that I, wrote and acted in just so they can see something because it's hard for them to say yes if it's just like you know um a, a a picture that may not even be a professional headshot yet and you know a very empty resume put yourself in their shoes it's hard for them to take a gamble on a brand new person but you know you can prove yourself by shooting a little something on your cell phone editing it in iMovie i have videos about all that so please check those out because i i am a huge, huge advocate of making your own material. P.S. This was supposed to be a short video and it's not. Now, the reason I really like using this method to find representation is because you're going to be finding managers who represent actors that are currently working on shows, okay? And when you go and look at these managers, also look at the rest of their client list and you know make sure that one actor is not like a fluke and that they do have a lot of working clients. Also click on some of those actors that that manager reps and see who their agencies are. You know, you can also do this the reverse way. You can look up agencies that you wanna be with and click on some of their actors and see who their managers are and submit to those managers. IMDb Pro is a really, really good resource for this whole purpose. And I think that's it, you guys. Um, look, I know, I know it's overwhelming. I know it seems hard. I know it's the unknown and it's like so much information, but just take it one step at a time. Just know that I was exactly where you were at one point. I have so much farther to go. It's really just putting one foot in front of the other. This whole career is a marathon, not a race. And or marathon, not a sprint? How do you, what is that? Anyway, you know what I mean. It really is just about putting one foot in front of the other, taking it step by step. And in the meantime, just focusing on your craft and getting better as an actor, because that really truly does matter with all this business stuff. They, they truly do go hand in hand. You can always um, put any questions that you have in the comments section below. That's really the best way to get your questions answered. Um, I also have an email address. You can follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram, and you can also message me there, although I don't always see those. I'm sorry for that, but um, you know, I'll do my best to get your questions answered. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.